Carol, I asked you about meetings that you had when Rumsfeld visited the theater of Iraq, correct? And you stated that Rumsfeld was obviously concerned about actionable intelligence that was coming from the field, correct? And you, you stated also that you had at least one to two meetings that you remember with Rumsfeld where you talked about actionable intelligence that was being gathered from the field, correct? Correct. Did you ever meet with Stephen Campbell, the Undersecretary of Intelligence? Um, I met with uh, Dr. Campbell uh, prior to going into theater. I had an, an, an office call with him, so that would be in the July 03 time frame. And then I went back for a meeting in uh, in January of 04. Um, what was I, it? I don't I don't recall if he was on the VTC the in, in August when we just no he was not so that, I think those were the so those were the only times that I had any any uh, interface with. Were you present during a meeting with General Karpinski and Major General Jeffrey Miller, wherein General Miller referred to detainees as animals? Animals. Um, um, I, I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I don't know that, I, that none of that's resonating with me. You don't remember, or you can say with any specificity that didn't happen? I, I don't remember. I mean, I, I just I don't remember. Have you ever heard, okay. Gen, have you ever heard General Jeffrey Miller use the term animals or re, referring to prisoners or detainees or individuals in his compound or the compound of Bobo Gray? Um, I've not heard him call them animals. I mean, there 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 have been descriptors that where of of ki kinds of, of detainees that that he believed that uh, that you had. I mean, you had some who were aggressive detainees, and 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 uh, you know they would be they would be a, a more aggressive kind of, of individual. You have others who are more followers and, and not leaders. So, but that's the only t context that I that I've ever recalled hearing any conversation on, in this in this area. Have you ever heard of use any kind of derogatory name when referring to detainees or prisoners? I mean, uh, not, not, that, not, that, not that I'm recalling right now. How many times have you heard General Jeffrey Miller use the term get your wives? Oh gosh, I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, that's a long, that's a long period of time. Um, and I don't know if I really heard the term Gitmo wise so much as uh, in, in, I don't know if I, I heard it in terms of Gitmo wise so much as as there there are things that were done at, at Gitmo there were there were processes that were put into place at Gitmo that that ought to be being done in, in, in Iraq in order to, to better uh, to have a better operation. What about the use of food deprivation at Abu Ghraib? I, I, I'm not, I don't recall ever having any discussion on food deprivation. You know if that was a method of interrogation that was used? I don't know if it was used. Uh, certainly, uh, I, I know whether it was uh, authorized or not. Was it authorized? Again, I'm not going to go into, I can't go into interrogation techniques on, on this BTC. We would have to do that in another forum. What about sleep manipulation? Again, any interrogation techniques specifically, we'd have to go into another forum to be able to discuss. Are you telling me that those methods are classified methods? What, I, I, what I'm telling you is that the policy letters that were signed by General Sanchez are classified, and in those policy letters are the interrogation techniques that are authorized and those for which you required um, permission from General Sanchez. Do you know if any of the interrogators were trained in Israel? I have no idea if anyone was trained in Israel or not. If they weren't, to, I mean, I, I have no idea. Do you have any knowledge or reference whether any Israeli personnel were acting as interrogators as a person? I know of no Israelis who were acting as interrogators in a person. Did General Jones tell you that as the senior intelligence officer, the C2 of Iraq, that you were going to be held ultimately responsible? for the individuals working out the grave. No. During the fall of 2003, did you ever inform visiting General William Boykin that you were picking up the pace of interrogations in Abu Ghraib? 
Um, I don't recall saying we were picking up the pace of interrogations at Abu Ghraib. Um, what I do recall is that as part of just a, a, a host of things that, that we discussed, we discussed being able to, to uh, um, organize interrogations to, to be more effective. And again, it goes along those lines of, of that I've described to you before that if, if I go through them again, all your council members will probably get irritated on the, on the, on the idea of, of having interrogators, linguists, analysts, et, et cetera, et cetera, on being able to do better collection management. And then I really focused very heavily and, and where we could pick up the pace was, was in being able to, to have my analysts actively involved in under, better understanding uh, and who uh, who was of the, the, the detainees who might be of, of specific intelligence interest, where they could better focus questions and provide better contextual data for the interrogators to be able to use. I'm going to ask you one more time, man. Did you ever tell General Boykin words to the effect of that the interrogations at Abu Ghraib during the fall of 2003? that you're going to increase the amount of interrogations and get more aggressive or worse to that effect? I, I do not recall saying that specifically. You remember saying that in other words, non-specifically? Well, I mean, I, I, I would say that it's probably fair that we had a conversation that, that looked at all right, as, as we're able to bring more interrogators online, then we ought to be able to, to increase the, the numbers of interrogations that, that we do. So I think to the extent that we were able to increase capacity, to the extent that we were also, at that point in time, bringing um, under direction from General Sanchez to consolidate all operations at Abu Ghraib so you didn't have little piecemeal operations in a variety of places, Having a coherent uh, interrogation effort allowed you to be able, one, to be able to do more interrogations and to be able to do them and, and to be able to do them more effectively. You talked before about the Iraqi survey group. Can you discuss with us the methods of interrogation that the Iraqi survey group used on detainees or prisoners? No, because uh, we had no command responsibility for uh, Iraqi survey group. Did you ever watch them conduct the interrogation? The Iraqi survey group? Yes. No, I did not. Who were they composed of? Um, they were, the Iraqi survey group was uh, directly responsible to CENTCOM. We had no, um, I had no responsibilities or authorities with them in, in, uh, with regard to intelligence collection. As you sit here today, are you telling us that you have absolutely no knowledge whatsoever of interrogation techniques that they use? Uh, I, I don't know what their interrogation techniques were, no. Do you know if they were bound by the Geneva Convention in their interrogations? I believe they were. But I did not see any policy letters that were specific to the Iraqi survey group, and, and ours was a CJTF-7 policy letter that was specifically for CJTF-7. You know if the Iraqi they were not a part. Do you know if the Iraqi survey group ever entered Abu Ghraib during the time that you were a staff officer? Um, they, I, I believe I believe that there were some members that entered the Abu Ghraib during my time as a staff officer. Yes. And you know if they I don't were? know that they. Were, but, but I don't know that they were. I don't know that they were interrogators. What, what I do know is that uh, there were um, there were some specific WMD related issues that the uh, weapons of mass destruction issues that we had, and we had an analytic group that looked at uh, weapons of mass destruction. And I believe that um, one of their analysts may have visited Abu Ghraib for the purpose of looking for weapons of mass destruction. No, for the purpose of, of uh, working with the interrogator in charge of, on, on, uh, on an individual who might have knowledge of weapons of mass destruction. And do you know who that was or when that was done? No, I, the, the I don't know who it was, but the time frame for that would have been um, probably around March or, March or April to, to June of this year because it was over a protracted period of time. I go for the one.